So tonight we're going to talk about breaking that down and building it back up with a whole lot more speed and power. Because a lot of you guys have done crossovers, but you've never actually learned how to break down the crossover, right? We just kind of organically learned how to do it. For those of you that were here, we're going to take what we just did with those isolated C cuts, but instead of going linear, we're now going to skate them on a curve. So we're going to perform the C cuts going around the circle. That inside glide leg is no longer going to be on the flat of the blade. You got to get on the outside edge. This is essential for doing the crossover. Watch what that looks like. As you pick up speed, notice I start to get more on the outside edge. I want you while you're going around the cone or around the circle to look at the cones and to place your stick pointing at the cones. This is really important and you have to do that throughout every drill I have you doing tonight. It helps you get on that outside edge and it helps you main maintain that stability and balance over that outside edge. If you're a lefty, two hands on the stick. If you're a righty, one hand on the stick. So if you're coming around, two hands for a lefty, one hand for a righty. Look to that cone. Point your stick there, look. What I'm seeing is a lot of you are doing these really short little things. I want you to really see cut. That means you gotta bend that inside glide leg and you really have to extend that leg just like what we did doing it linear, linear 